Hi there, Malcolm here with my 185th booktube video and today I'll be bringing you my review of March's book of the month, Day 4 by Sarah Lotz. This is book two of The Three. It's a sort of sequel slash parallel call to The Three. I've not read The Three, but I was given to understand that the two stories could be read in either order. So Day 4 is set on a cruise ship that is run adrift in the Gulf of Mexico. The engine's given out, there's no land in sight in any direction. And of all the people on this ship, we follow about seven individuals as they go from their day-to-day -day activities to trying to find out what's going on. And what I really liked about using these multiple points of view is we start day four and each day we go through each character. And once we got through them, we then go on to day five and then we go through the characters again as a catch up what they're doing that day. A lot of multiple points of view stories, we jump from character to character, we never know who we're going to follow in the next section, next bit. And uh, we do seem to jump around a lot without actually going back to a character we're interested in for a while. And then finally we do, it's like, oh yeah, I've forgotten about them. Because of the circulation going through all the characters in a specific order, you know who's going to come up next. I really like that aspect. The characters themselves, and a lot of very interesting characters, each one with an interesting title in their chapter headings. So we have the witch's assistant, a young lady called Maddie, who works for a TV medium, a person who talks to the dead. So we have the plight of her job and her experience on the boat. There's the condemned man, who literally starts off murdering a woman, the latest in a string of date rape attempts, and him trying to cover up the crime and hide from the authorities. Obviously not a very nice person, but you do get to see his point of view. And although he does try to self-justify what he's done, at no point does he come across as a likeable character. And although this is a dark mystery slash ghost type story, having a character who kills somebody in the middle of attempting to rape them is perhaps too triggering for many to read or enjoy. And so the decision to put this in the book was unnecessary. I mean, you can still kill someone, but for any other reason. Particularly as the next two characters, titled The Suicide Sisters, are two women who are in a suicide pact. They're going on this cruise, having spent lots of money, with the idea of killing themselves at the end of day four. And of course, circumstances come up that mean they can't. Now, I'm not saying these things don't happen in real life, but to have two quite extreme storylines within the same book, without there any real need for them to be there, was a little unnecessary. But there you go. There's The Devil's Handmaiden. One of the members of staff of the cruise ship. Yeah, you know, one of the cleaners makes the beds, cleans up the vomit for most of us, seasick. And she's secretly pregnant. A much more empathetic character who makes some decisions that perhaps aren't the best, but you can understand why she's done them. The Angel of Mercy, one of the members of security on the ship who is trying to investigate the murder once it becomes uncovered and is told to drop it as every turn by his superiors. And he's got a secret as well. And then there's the Wildcard blog. This is a blogger who only communicates in the book through his uh, blog, unless he's talking to one of the other characters in their chapter, in which case he talks like a normal human being. And he's there to expose the fraudulent nature of the medium. As I said, each day we cycle through these characters as the story furthers, the mystery deepens, the murder mystery investigation continues, and weird stuff takes place. You're left guessing right through the story just what's going on. Some tropey uh, ghost story type things do take place, but I think they're executed quite well and they're not overplayed. And for the most of the story, I really enjoyed the ride. It was really intriguing how it goes and of course the collapse of society. We go from people complaining that the food isn't as good quality as it was when they started to there's no food and just how people make do and they make do again and they make do again, but still complain all the time with the complaining. And the length at which the crew have to go to to keep their charges under control or calm. Towards the end, two things happen. One in which they uh, stumble across the events of the three. We don't get a huge look at it. We get enough to know that something terrible has happened. And there's enough there to understand certain spoilerage situations. And certainly enough there for me to be wanting to read the three. I just can't seem to get hold of a copy. And then we have the ending where something happens. And I think I need to read the three to understand more about what happened. But something happened and I have a vague idea what it might be but I'm not entirely convinced and then there's the end end where it's left a little ambiguous to the fates of our main characters or well, the surviving main characters I should say I'm kind of wondering if there's going to be a third book with five in the title to hopefully clear things up or continue the story somehow I was like, really enjoyed it there are certain storyline choices which I think perhaps may be a little distasteful to some, either the murder rape or the suicide uh, pact or both. So heads up about either of them. But I was left engrossed throughout. I whizzed through this quickly, buy it. And yeah, like I said, intrigued enough to read 
the three. So have you read day four or the three? What do you think of them? Which one do you think is the best out of the lot? Having read reviews, some think this one's better, some think the other one's better. Very really curious to know which one you think is the better of the two. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you want to. I'm not going to make you, but yeah, it does help. And feel free to add your comments down below. But as usual, if you have nothing nice to say, then please keep it to yourself. Thank you. And until next time, see you later.